Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetanesh Noria and today is the day we have been waiting for. Today, Samsung has announced their latest Exynos 9810 which will be featured in the Galaxy S9 and I must say it is a beast of a processor. So the Exynos 9810 is a huge leap forward in a mobile computer vision technology and it also have quote depth sensing feature to scan users face in 3D for face tracking filters as well as strong security when unlocking a device with one's face end quote meaning the Exynos 9810 will be able to provide a much better facial scanning technology just like the iPhone 10. Exynos 9810 will come with the Samsung's third generation custom chips called the Core M3s like we knew from the previous leaks and it is clocked at 2.9 GHz combined with the Cortex A55. The performance Samsung reports is now twice in single core and 40% more in multi core compared to its predecessor in terms of benchmarks, which is in the range of 3900 single core score with 9000 multi core score, which brings it closer to A11 Bionic chip score, making the Galaxy S9 very fast. The Exynos 9810 has CAT 18 with 6CA for downlink and all, which, to be honest, a layman neither understands nor care about. What layman finds interesting is that the Exynos 9810 will be able to record 4K at 120 frames per second and it supports 10-bit HEVC and VP9 codec which will reproduce 1.07 billion colors and those are some huge number of colors. And that's not all. The Exynos 9810 also now supports 32-bit audio which will drastically improve audio quality. The gaming capability has been increased too with the Mali G72 which increases performance by 20% while decreasing power consumption too and it comes with security subsystem just like the Snapdragon 845. The most interesting thing is that the new Exynos 9810 has 4 MBs of level 3 cache, show at the cost of reducing level 2 cache but there is an increase in total amount of cache which will speed up the processes too. Now that we have the specs of the Snapdragon 845 and the Exynos 9810, we can make an informed prediction of what the Galaxy S9 will be able to do. For example, Exynos 9810 can handle 4K videos at 120 frames per second whereas Snapdragon 845 can handle 4K videos at only 60 FPS. So the Galaxy S9 will be able to handle 4K videos at only 60 FPS. Additionally, we have some new renders and pictures of the Galaxy S9 which are in fact fake. You can conclude that by just seeing how display is ending before the bezel. It most probably is a Chinese knockoff of the Galaxy S9. There is one more leak which shows us something about Bixby which we do not understand but it shows a device that has very small chin bezel and this device is a little rectangleish as well leading us to believe that it might be the Galaxy Note 9. So the hopes are still up that we will see this design in the future. And we have some new league screen protector for the Galaxy S9 which tells us that the Galaxy S9 will look beautiful. With that said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Exynos 9810 and how excited you guys are for the Galaxy S9. Hope you like this video and for upcoming news and leaks, subscribe to this channel. This is Chetan Asnoria signing off.